Hi everyone, welcome back to Zaxdeck. Today, we're going to learn a convenient and secure way to SSH into your server without having to type a password every time. We'll be using PuTTY, a popular SSH client for Windows. Let's dive right in. PuTTY. Make sure PuTTY is installed on your Windows machine. PuTTY is free and open source SSH client software. You also need to download the PuTTY generator app from the PuTTY website. You'll use this to create your private and public key pair. In the PuTTY key generator box, make sure the radio button at the bottom is selected for RSA. Move your mouse around the box to help generate the keys. Once the key is created, a new pop-up box appears. The public key is shown on top. Click both the Save Public Key and Save Private Key buttons that appear on the bottom right to save these keys to your computer. When saving, you are prompted with a message about a passphrase. Click Yes to save without a passphrase. Upload the public key you just created to your Linux server. This is where your keys will be saved. Open the file using a text editor I'm going to use Nano myself. As you can see there is already a key. This is the key we uploaded earlier for the Ubuntu client. Let us now copy and paste the key for the Windows client. You can now save the file. Log out of PuTTY and start the program up again. Enter the username in front of the IP address of the server. I'm connecting to the Linux server using the root account. On the left click on authentication and then click credentials. Browse to the saved private key on your local computer. Click on Sessions and try to connect to the server. Now the PuTTY will connect to the remote SSH server and there it won't ask for any password. Remember to save the session so next time you do not have to browse to the public key. Congratulations! You've successfully set up SSH access without a password using PuTTY.
If you encounter any issues, double-check the file permissions on the authorized keys file on your server and ensure that the private key file on your Windows machine is secure. Also, confirm that the public key was copied correctly to the server. And there you have it. You've learned how to set up SSH access without a password using PuTTY. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and hit the notification bell to stay updated. Thank you for watching, and happy remote accessing.